It's Spirit Halloween time. Spirit Halloween officially opened the grand opening here in New Jersey. Let me know if you have any Spirit Halloweens by you. And if you do, did you pick anything up? Uh, and let me know what you picked up. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a quick glimpse inside, just a couple of quick videos. And I will be back to show you what I got after the videos. <laughs> We've got some trick-or-treat stuff, some Beetlejuice stuff, uh, some more spooky stuff over here, graveyard stuff, zombie babies, all kinds of cool stuff. We've got all kinds of awesome masks. We've got Captain Spaulding, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Saw mask, just creepy masks, clown masks all over the place. We've got some uh, retro-looking masks, lizard people masks, uh, a lot of clowns, a lot of, you know, classic horror icons, too. Look at these creepy clowns. All right, so there's just a quick glimpse inside Spirit Halloween, a lot of masks, a lot of trick-or-treat stuff. And I was able to get two things, two awesome things. First up, I got this for 10 bucks. This is a trick-or-treat uh, Rules of Halloween glass right here mug. It's the bottom right there uh, is clear. Kind of can play into trick-or-treat in the... Uh, different rules right here, but it goes over all the different rules. Always check your candy. Never blow out a jack-o'-lantern. Always hand out treats. And then this, you know, pictures of Sam. Uh, and then the lollipop and jack-o'-lanterns and Sam unmasked. So pretty cool. I think this was awesome for uh, 10 bucks. They had a lot of uh, trick-or-treat stuff. And it's funny because, I don't know, I'm going to say like nine years ago, I included trick-or-treat on... Uh, my top 10 list for underrated horror movies and underrated horror movies on Blu-ray. And now I feel like it's hugely popular and a ton of merchandise out there for trick or treat. So I, I think that looks really cool if you can see that on there without the glare. But uh, for 10 bucks, had to pick that one up. Um, I got the trick or treat Sam uh, Halloween greeter uh, in uh, years previous. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, but... Uh, that is awesome. I love their uh, their greeters in here. So definitely super happy to get this one. Uh, looks amazing, and I'm already excited. People are saying it's too soon for Halloween stuff. I'm over this 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 summer. The heat has been disgusting over here in Jersey. Like the grass over here just looks like a wheat field. Um, the heat, the humidity. You're you're talking about you know 11 o'clock at night. It's 90 degrees out still, and humidity is like 90 percent. It's crazy, but the main huge awesome thing that I got, the Killer Clowns from Outer Space Gun, which uh, last year this sold out and people were selling it on eBay for like double, triple the amount. Uh, and I'm glad I waited on it. This was, uh, I believe, 27 bucks. And look how awesome that is. So there's the box. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the box because this is super awesome and I'm gonna use this often. I'm gonna play with this all the time. It's just super cool looking. The the sound effect uh, that lights up. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is one of the earliest horror movies I watched. It's still one of my favorites, super cheesy fun. And I need to do a video on my Killer Clowns from Outer Space collection. I got a signed poster. I got several different editions, signed movies. And now I got this awesome Killer Clowns from Outer Space gun. Lights up, the sound effects, the spinning right there as well. Super cool. And then they had a uh, like life-size shorty uh, like moving figure, which was in the video. That was, I want to say 250 bucks. A little pricey for that, but that thing is awesome. So uh, maybe one day if it goes on sale, I don't know if those things ever go on sale, but um, I know there's like a 20% off one item coupon code. Uh, so maybe in conjunction if it goes on sale because I don't want to spend too much on that But it is pretty amazing. So this is the cotton candy gun. They shoot people they turn into the cotton candy cocoons uh, I always loved that as a kid and it's great to see so much uh, Killer Clowns about space merchandise coming out. I feel like a lot of these movies didn't have a ton of merchandise uh, And then in the past few years, it's just exploded. John Carver's the thing trick-or-treat Killer Clowns about space and I'm definitely thankful for it. Some amazing stuff. Uh, if you're a fan and collector, you gotta love it. And these cotton candy guns are just amazing. And if you've seen Killer Clowns from Outer Space, definitely let me know what your favorite scene in the movie is. I feel like there's a lot of fun scenes in that one. When I was a little kid, I watched it 
and it was like the second uh, horror movie I ever saw, and it freaked me out as a kid. But I, you know, I wanted to see more, and to me, it, now it's super cheesy fun, and it's one of my favorite movies to rewatch uh, and just have a good time with. And there's a lot of cool, fun scenes in there. You know, knock your block off uh, the the pizza delivery scene, the uh, the shadow, you know, dinosaur scene, uh, all the cotton candy cocoons, and they've been talking about making a sequel for this one for like a long time, for like over a decade. I'd love to see that happen one day. And the Chiodo brothers are amazing and uh, a lot of creativity. I love, you know, the creature effects and stuff and the look to the clowns. There's a bunch of different clowns out there. And again, I'm talking about all the different merchandising, all the Funko Pops. There's so many different Funko Pops and now figures and stuff too. Uh, I've got a couple of the Funko Pops uh, and uh, I, I don't know, I'm not a big figure guy, but I might get some of those figures. They look really cool. Uh, and this, again, I can't even express how happy I was to be able to get this. Um, just, I love it. Amazing. This cotton candy gun. Just, just look at it. Just look at it. And speaking of all the killer clowns of outer space merchandise, there's a lot of clothing and stuff too, but right over here, I had a, a shirt I wanted to show you. And uh, I feel like this is fitting since it was like right next to me. And here we go. Here's uh, the shirt, which is super awesome. And uh, then I've got a, uh, a bookmark as well. And then I've got this pillow too, which was a, a gift from my girl and this looks amazing. I believe uh, she got this off of Etsy for me. And then um, these ones were uh, from Cavity Colors. Cavity Colors um, I actually have uh, sweatpants too for Killer Clouds Outer Space. So uh, when I do my Killer Clouds Outer Space video, I'm gonna show the clothing, the pillow, all that good stuff. Uh, so look forward to that. A lot of Killer Clouds of Outer Space stuff. I love this design. Super cool. They went all out. This wasn't some overpriced cheap toy. Uh, the effects here, the movement, uh, it is amazing. Just the, the look to it. Uh, super cool. Whoever designed this deserves a raise. I feel like a lot of times some of the, you know, gimmicky props and stuff out there and gimmicky toys for uh, different movies, uh, they fall flat and they're cheap. And that's definitely not the case here. This is Awesome, awesome, tastic. So I definitely don't think that Trick or Treat is underrated anymore. Uh, you know, it's got the Scream Factory Blue release. At this point, I'm expecting a 4K release, uh, but just all the merchandising, it's just uh, widely beloved and known now. And I'm looking forward to uh, the sequel. They've been talking about doing a sequel for a long time. So I'm definitely pumped on this. This was super awesome. Um, I love the heck out of these and can't wait to see what they have in the future too. Definitely let me know if you've seen Killer Clowns from Outer Space and what you think of it and if you've seen Trick or Treat and what you think of it. Not the old 80s um, heavy metal horror movie, but uh, the Rules of Halloween horror anthology. And if you have seen it, let me know what your favorite segment is in Trick or Treat. For me, it's the Anna Paquin segment. Love that one so freaking much. Again, this thing is so awesome. Glad I waited uh, and didn't pay the overinflated scalper prices on eBay. So those are the two things that I picked up right there from Spirit Halloween. Souped on these pickups right here. And again, let me know if you have a Spirit Halloween by you. And if so, what did you pick up from your Spirit Halloween and what would you like to pick up in the future from them? Leave me those comments down below and I hope everybody's doing well. Keep it spooky.